The MS1 message server enables VoIP paging from an IP telephone system. From the IP phone, pre-recorded announcements and user-recorded live pages can be initiated. The MS1 does this by acting as a SIP trunk. This provides VoIP paging without the need for an external call management system. If there's already a VoIP system, however, the MS1 can be easily integrated by creating a forwarding rule for any paging extensions. To enable VoIP paging, it must first be enabled in the MS1's general properties and a SIP username and password provided. In smaller projects, or where physical network limitations exist, the Use Control Network Connection LAN1 should be used. In this case, this means the 10.21.13.80 address will be used for VoIP communications as well as the regular control traffic. Say, however, the phones resided on their own network, you would use the dedicated network connection LAN3 and enter the network details accordingly. Next off is adding VoIP extensions. By default, extensions start at 1001 and increase by a value of 1 each time. The extension number scheme can easily be tailored to the customer's requirements, however. A list of available page codes is shown in the Mapped Page Code drop-down. The selected page code is then mapped to the extension. Once the extension is dialed from an IP telephone, an announcement to the page's map zone or zones will be initiated. When no page code is selected in the Mapped Page Code field, once the user dials the extension, they'll be given the option to dynamically enter any page code of their choosing. Next along is the ring count field. The ring count is the length in seconds that the extension rings before the call is automatically answered. Additional options for how the call is handled can be set using the subsequent checkboxes. Pin access requires the user to be authenticated before a paging event can be commenced. The next three options relate to the audio prompts the user hears throughout the call. If the hang up option is selected, the page automatically releases when the user hangs up the phone. The continuous checkbox allows for multiple paging events per call. This means that after a page has been submitted, additional pages to the same or to a different extension can be made without the need to hang up first. The conference option is used to synchronize VoIP paging between multiple worlds when an existing call manager is being used. Another option for quickly configuring extensions is the extension wizard. First off, enter the base extension number and select the page codes to map to them. The next screen shows the same options for the call handling we've just covered. Select the options that the majority of extensions will use. Page codes are now mapped to individual extensions and if any properties need to be tailored further, then this is done in the main VoIP extensions window. In the VoIP options tab, Pin access can be granted if paging authentication is required. Also in the lower half of the screen, VoIP routes can be added for phones residing on other network segments. The Prompts tab is used to configure the audible prompts heard by the user once the call is established. Default prompts are provided with the software, however custom prompts can be added as well. In the VoIP Advance tab, the call limit setting is used to set the maximum number of simultaneous calls. The system supports up to 20 calls at any one time. Other settings in the VoIP Advanced tab should be left at their default values unless requested by the network administrator.